All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you to one of my favorite places in Amsterdam. This place is called Coffee and Coconuts, and it literally was such a cute, like, bar slash restaurant slash breakfast place. <laughs> they had everything here. So this is the first level. They had three levels, you guys. It was just so cute. So actually, on the first level, they have a whole entire bar, um, as you can see right here. And then they had like a whole wall of like their own kind of teas and coffees, like a whole wall of it. So that was just a clip of that. And you go upstairs and there's a whole nother area of seating. They had like these cute little couches that you can sit in. And it was just like the cutest cafe I've ever been to. <laughs> it was massive. And it was definitely, definitely a very, very, very popular place. Uh, as you can see, it's completely packed and this is actually located over where the museum district is it's kind of over there by like the van gogh museum area we went for breakfast slash brunch and um, we just got a smoothie bowl and then this like focaccia bread we split it they had a coffee i had a latte as you can see with coconut milk so delicious the service was really good now we're moving on to the very popular fry place called, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I think it's like mannequin fries, mannequin piss fries. <laughs> um, the French fries were absolutely delicious. I think they were like $7. So good. Now, this place is called Lola. Now, this is an Italian restaurant we did not eat in here. We just went for like a bar slash a nightcap kind of vibe. But what we did get was the tiramisu. And it was the second best tiramisu I've ever had in my life. It had like some sea salt sprinkled on top. So good. Uh, this place is called Bar 27. And it was a really, really cute vibe. It's actually inside of a hotel. But um, they had a live DJ playing. And look, it's all red inside. So it's very uh, nice for like a date or just like a night out. It's very relaxing. And it has just a very nice vibe and if you look at the reviews the reviews are really good if you just google it um that's what i did i googled all these places so oh, like they had a full bar and i got the bee's knees and then we also tried this drink called the porn star which this porn star drink the name of it is a very popular drink in amsterdam it's like everywhere so i don't know if that's like their signature drink but they had this drink called the porn star almost saw like at least three menus that I saw, but that's kind of what it looks like. And each place has like their different version of it. So the next place we went to is this place called Hop or Hoop. I don't know, but um, we tried this Genevieve Authentic Dutch drink. Here it is. And it was very much so like a brandy. It was very, very strong. We also tried their bitter balls here. They were veggie and bitter balls are a very popular dish. So we tried that. Now here is such a cute restaurant. It's called Madre. And it's a little dark because that's just kind of how the ambiance was. And I tried to lighten it, but I just couldn't. But you can kind of see it's kind of well lit with the candles. But this was actually, actually a restaurant that was recommended by the concierge. And it was so good. It's a vegan Mexican restaurant, believe it or not. <laughs> and um, we had gotten like some vegan nachos. My girlfriend got a vegan pork um, taco and it was actually really really good so the ambiance here is like again very nice the service is really good um, here is a little picture of a passion fruit margarita that I got here are those vegan nachos they were so good like the cheese sauce was delicious and here is like their version of a tres leches which wasn't your typical tres leches but it was still really good um, here is the famous pancake bakery which has been around since 1973 so we had to check it out and I will say that um, the staff there was a little slow however it's okay because they were really nice <laughs> I got the Dutch pancake with apples and brandy and I got the pofferties pufferties and actually the Dutch pancake was very like thick so I don't know if it really really was my favorite but the pufferties here are delicious so um, definitely check out the pancake bakery they've been around for some time and so um, they have a whole bunch of stuff on their menu this is the uh, bar called Super Leon this is actually a bar that was inside of our hotel the Kempton Day Wit and I have another video on this particular hotel so check that out but here's that porn star drink again I'm telling you that drink was everywhere 
here is a place called the Sifu Bar. Now, um, the Sifu Bar, it we didn't even really get that much to eat, but the ambiance in there is actually really nice. They have fresh seafood. They have an entire menu of just seafood stuff. The service was really, really good. The service was really, really good all over Amsterdam, okay? I just want to make that clear. Like, everybody was on point with their service, so I have no complaints about the service in Amsterdam. Um, but the only thing we got here to try was the kibbling, which is another popular dish that you have to try in, um, you know, in Amsterdam or a, a popular Dutch dish, shall we say. So we got the kibbling and it was so amazingly good. They have fresh tartar sauce. So if you go there, I definitely recommend that you try that. Now here is the street where you have those famous Van Staple cookies. Now I did all this research before I went to Amsterdam and this cookie place kept popping up on everybody's video so I went there too naturally and I must say these cookies are delicious I got six I think it was like see yeah, I got six in a box for $12 and um, they were so good and I just wanted to show you a line that is out of this world this was actually early in the morning but i can almost guarantee you on the weekends it's probably even longer than this so these are are all the people standing out in the rain including us to get into this famous cookie place so it does live up to the hype i must say that it does live up to the hype. it almost tastes like a cookie brownie and also on that same street right down from there is this place called link's room and it was a place that I looked up to uh, go to for their Stroop waffles, which is another popular Dutch dish that I had to try. And this place, from what I you know, read on my own research, was supposed to be the place for the best Stroop waffles. And I got the honey syrup waffle. They also had like a caramel one too, but it was so good. And it really was different than any of the other Stroop waffles within the city that I saw. Uh, here is a place called Casse de David or Devad and this was another place that the concierge recommended this place has been around for 50 years and they had something I've never seen before so they have like this thing this contraption where they put the, the food on or like the drinks on and they like reel it upstairs so make sure you check it out because they have a really nice ambiance also make sure you get the truffle ravioli and the bruschetta that they have there delicious here is a speakeasy that's hidden so as you can see on the outside you don't really know what it is it just looks like a regular building but it's actually a speakeasy and i love speakeasies here's just a little clip of what it looks like inside drinks were really good very small and cute and quaint they give you little nuts to snack on which that seems to be a thing in amsterdam i feel like all the bars had little nuts or snacks with the drinks so very good now this place is called Bar the Tailor and this was another uh, bar that was inside of a hotel, kind of near our hotel. Very cute, ambiance, very relaxing. They also have an outdoor area and they have like these little sprays that they put in the drinks to make it more fragrant. It was really, really delicious. Here is the Chimney Cake Bakery. I stopped over there the one day when my friend was in the Van Gogh uh, Museum and um, I thought this place was so good. It's a very popular place, it seems like, um, because it was very, very busy. And I just had a croissant and fresh squeezed orange juice. But the cafe itself is very, very cute um, and very popular, as you can see. They also had like ice cream there, too. So, really nice cafe right by the Van Gogh Museum area. Now this next place is a very, very popular place. Again, this is another place that I saw all the time on people's YouTube videos called Winkle 43. They have this famous Dutch apple pie and I just had to try it. Here is the line for it, people. I mean, it is just kind of crazy. Um, but I will say again, it lived up to the hype. The, the, the pie itself was not very sweet at all. It wasn't like coinly sweet and it had raisins in it, which was a very nice touch and it actually was so good and I think the whipped cream was also fresh that they make there so definitely check that out and try to get there early to avoid the line <laughs> last but not least um, this place was really good Joe and the juice I guess it's a popular place in the United States as well this is my first time hearing about it or seeing it in Amsterdam but it was delicious all right guys so that wraps up my video I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know with any questions and check out my other videos on Amsterdam thanks for watching bye